What's happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on this machine. Look at the profile of this bike from like the rear, rear quarters views. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is what we call a timeless design. This is a 1986 model Honda Rebel, and it was at the British Iron Association motorcycle show last weekend for sale, and I had to buy it. I was like, wow, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. We've had a bunch of these Rebels through the shop. Usually they're absolutely hammered. Uh, left outside, abused, rusty, crashed and smashed. Well, let's face it, the bike's almost 40 years old, so it's an antique, it's a classic. You can run it on vintage plates, and to find one like this with 3,000 miles in brand new condition, I'll even go as far as to say this is a museum quality bike. It's that nice. It looks brand new. All the chrome on it is beautiful. The paint is in stunning condition. Uh, mechanically, electrically, and cosmetically, this bike is a 10. And you just don't find them like this, mainly because they were used as, uh, well, let's face it, it's a 250. So most of the time, people that would buy these would be, be beginning riders, and they'd make their mistakes on it. Um, not this one. This was owned by a woman, a uh, mature woman who uh, maintained it beautifully since brand new, it was stored indoors. I bought it from her daughter at the show. They bought it to the show. They wanted to find a, a you know, a new new home for it. Look at the chrome on the header pipes on it and the chrome on the exhaust, the, uh, the fit and finish of the bike. And of course, it's a Honda, so it's mechanically perfect. Now, it wasn't running perfectly when we got it. It ran halfway decent, but the carburetors were needing re, uh, rebuild and clean. So the manic mechanic himself took the carb cleaned it out, inside and out, cleaned the airbox, flushed out the fuel tank, actually micro-drilled the pilot jet, so now it probably, not probably, it definitely runs better than it did brand new. Um, changed the oil on it, put a new brand new battery in it. It's absolutely ready to go to a new home. It, it's, uh, like I said, really hard to find them. So generally, like I said, usually they're hammered into the ground. To find one that's absolutely show quality like this is, is unheard of. Uh, so the main mechanic went through, Gave it a clean bill of health, changed the, the oil, and, and put the new uh, micro drilled the pilot jets. It has a brand new battery in it. It's ready to go. Adjust the loop of the chain, gave it a, a complete 100 point check over. Then it went down to detail shop where it was steam cleaned. They did a uh, two stage process on the paint where it was polished and then waxed with new coat. Um, cleaned the tires. The whole, whole bike's been given a rotisserie detail from top to bottom. So it's ready to go. If you're looking for a forever bike, you can't think of a better a quality classic than this one right here it'll, it'll it'll pretty much run forever if you're a beginner looking for a new bike it's great i'm six foot two 220 not your average uh 250 rider i don't think so uh, i might be a, a larger than the average rider but to just for, for perspective so you can see how it looks at me on it at six two um the work order had seven and a half hours labor plus parts it came up to nine hundred ninety nine dollars and sixty nine cents just round up to a thousand dollars most of the time when people sell these they need a one of these quote unquote just needs a carb clean <laughs> we've seen that before right um usually it's a carb clean it's it's a tires it's battery it's a valve adjust usually you need everything but um this one needs nothing it's ready to go if you're looking for one of the finest 250 rebels on the planet bit high and bit often because they, they don't come up like this you just don't any it's hard to find any vintage 86 honda that's nice let alone a 250 bike that's a beginner's bike because most beginners make their mistakes they drop them on the driveway but take a look at the end end of these levers no evidence of ever not a single scratch on there uh the mirrors not a scratch the the pegs the spikes never even been let drop or laid down on the ground at all uh the turn signals in the back perfect and this is these are all the original cycle parts on it guys um in addition to the carb clean it does have a new fuel line and a brand new fuel filter on there ready to go for another 36 years the chain's in like brand new condition uh, the tires are uh, not dry rotted or cracked. They look like they're in new condition, hardly anywhere on them at all. These are the original tires too, guys. Just a remarkable dime piece, a, uh, a time capsule really to find them. Any any motor vehicle that, that's almost 40 years old this nice, let alone a, a Honda Rebel. So let me do a drive-by on it. Uh, I, would, I would sell this bike to a friend, a family member. I, I'd have my daughter ride this bike. I'm that confident. Starts right up with no choke because the pilot jets are micro drilled. Just a phenomenal piece.
whatever you pay for this bike, it's going to go up in value. If you buy this bike today, next year it's going to be worth more. If you buy a new 250 for five or six grand, seven grand, whatever they are, as soon as you roll it out of the dealership, you lose two grand. And then a year later, two years later, it's worth, five years later, it's worth half what you paid for it, you know, and they depreciate for the first 15 years. This one's an appreciating asset, and it's uh, an investment quality classic. Jewel of a bike, and you can ride two up too, no problem. It's got passenger pegs, it's got it's a twin cylinder, it's got plenty of power to all two people. It'll do 60 miles an hour. You can ride it on the highway if you want to. Um, heck, you can ride it cross country if you wanted to. So, good luck bidding on it. Bid high, bid off, and I, I doubt I'll ever get another one this nice. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.